Now Toast says a swear word. Taru covers Kanji's ears. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you need to worry about Kanji. Good day, good people. It is another fine day in the year of the Centumic Dave and your United States Aviator are rising to the top with another preseason episode of the Danganronpa Hunger Games and as you might notice, we have some Danganronpa characters, but we have some characters who... I don't think we've ever seen in these series, so hit it up for some... Mixed with Persona 4. Golden! <laughs> uh, I was excited to at least have these guys in here for an episode real quick. So we got some of the, some of the main cast of Persona 4. Also, no spoilers, because <laughs> I'm not done the game. <laughs> Uh, we're getting close for my playthrough. I've been completely blind this entire time, and we're gonna try and stay blind, so I might not read all of these comments. <laughs> but here we are, some of the cast of Persona 4, and let's just introduce everyone. In District 1, we have Taru Kiyoshi, the main protagonist through my playthrough of Persona 4, the great 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 grandson of the legendary Avatar Kiyoshi, and he is a sword master with gray hair, and so with him, Paco, sword master, gray hair, Murakata, sword master, grayish hair, it just fits. District 2, we have Yosuke, good old Yosuke, with Teru Teru and Kazuichi. District 3, we have Chie. Who's got the greatest kicks of all time, loves her some kung fu, and loves her some steak, so that brings her very closely related to Akane, who loves her some food. And Sakura, who's fantastic at all sorts of martial arts, District 4. We have Yukiko, who might seem a little cold, or, or it's hard to get to her exterior, but once you get to her exterior, she's a very pleasant person, just like Maki and just like Kyoko. District 5, we have Rise, a fantastic idol. And so thus we have freaking Saika and Tenko, who's probably a big fan of both of them because she loves her some some, some performers. District 6, we have Naoto with Chihiro and Shuichi. Chihiro because, you know, detective. Chihiro because they're both shy and brilliant. In fact, all three of these people are rather shy and brilliant. <clears throat> no spoilers, District 7, we have Nanako. Sweet, pure, innocent, best girl, Nanako. With Crazy Yoko and Katoko. District 8, we have Kanji. Big, tough, brute, exterior. <clears throat> you might think that he's a, 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 a menace. You never want to cross paths with him. But on the inside, he's a good boy. In fact, he might be best boy. Just like Gonta. Just like Mondo. In District 9, we got some bears and mascots. We got Teddy with Monokuma and Dusami. And thus... We are prepared. So tell me, give me your picks for first, second, and third. I'm excited to have the Persona 4 characters in here. They might show up in tag team action, they might not. <laughs> if they don't this season, they will next season, because I'll definitely be done with Persona 4 by um, next season. Who do you got? Let me know. Who do you, who, who in this year of the Ascent? <clears throat> and leave those comments after you like and subscribe. And y'all have definitely been subscribing because we jumped like a, a hundred and a hundred and so subscribers, and now we're creeping up on like 4,000, which is crazy. Really crazy. Because I didn't expect 4,000 until like the beginning of February, and then 2021 hits, and then hello. In fact, the, um... The first Ultimate Ultimate episode just hit 100,000 views, which is mind-boggling to me absolutely crazy that's just that's just i've just been kind of peeking at those things and it's, it's just been it's been a wild ride so thanks for being along with it give me give me your comments they're important like this one like this one and even like that one they are all so good so good but there's a couple more things check the community tab check the pin comment or it might not be in the pin comment because i might not be at home when this goes but it's definitely in the description. It is time 
to submit some OCs. The OC submission box is set, so submit them now. There will still be an OC preseason episode that'll be all OCs for the Agent of Chaos, because the Agent of Chaos are gonna have some some fun this season, because it's their one year anniversary from the, ter the first time the Agents of Chaos were declared, and it's gonna be a good time, and I just, I think we're ready for that. Uh, they open today, and I think I have them closing February 14th? Yeah? I think the 14th. I think the 14th. It's either the 14th or the 21st. It's one of those. I haven't completely decided at this point in time. They might just close on Valentine's Day. But I think I have them. I think I wanted to close them the next weekend because that's a 3 day weekend. Yeah, we're gonna do that the next weekend, the 21st. So those are gonna close then. And ladies and gentlemen, it is going to be a phenomenal time in this year of the ascent. And ladies and gentlemen, it's time. It's time to get things on the roll. I'm gonna, you know what, maybe should we announce what the gimmick is for this season? Or should we do it next week when we do Agents of Chaos? I don't know. We'll see. We'll wait and see. We'll do it next week. We'll do it next week. I'll leave you on the edge of your seats. It's gonna be a ride this season. <laughs> it will. Oh, it's gonna be something. It's going to be something else. I'm gonna make my picks though. Cause I've dillied and dallied for about six and a half minutes. Give me Peko for first. And give me... Sakura's already in. Give me... Give me Kazuichi for second. And then give me Maki for third. That's my top. Well, you know what? I should probably pick some Persona folk too. Give me Peko for first. Kazuichi for second. Yeah, screw it. Give me Nanako for first. <laughs> put her in the put her in the premiere. First and second going to the season seven premiere. Don't forget about that. Give me Nanako for first. Peko for second. Kazuichi for third. Lock me in. Love Nanako. Throw hands for Nanako. Step in Nanako's way. And mess you up. All right. <laughs> do I even have the die? Do I? I don't even know if I do. Oh. Let me see, I'm gonna have to... Uh, let me just stop this music just in case I do have it. Uh, mm. Oh, let's see. Oh, I'm gonna reach down here. Can you even see me anymore? Let's see what we got here. Uh, mm, um, some disinfecting wipes, that's pretty good. I don't really need those, though. Um, uh, oh, disinfectant spray, that's pretty good, too. I need those. Uh, mm, let's see what else we got. Mm, uh, box of bootios. Mm, they make sure that you ain't booty. Mm, uh, that's not it, either. Um, oh, let's see, it's a pair of pliers, that's, okay, you know, that, that's good too, I don't really need it. do I not have it? Do I need to get up and... Oh! That's interesting! Hold on, there it's on the ceiling, well, you know, I gotta get up, gotta snatch it from over and on the ceiling. <clears throat> there we go. Oh, don't know I got up there, but it sure did, alright, here we go. Are you really confused as to why it's up? We don't ask questions down to these parts. There was a box of bootios down here. We don't ask questions. <laughs> Let's roll this thing. We're re-simulating. Just twice. Oh, it will be nice. And when we re-simulate twice. Are you ready? In this year of the ascent? We re-simulate now one time. But with these Persona characters. We re-simulate just twice. Let's actually click it. There we go. <laughs> I'm excited for this. I wonder if any of these Persona characters will head on to the Season 7 premiere. We, uh, will we have our first Persona character compete for the championships? We've had crazier characters. We had, what, Bumblebee compete? <laughs> we've had some we've had some wild entrance, but here we go. Let's see what happens. Let's get things started. It's time to proceed. It is the bloodbath. As the tributes stand on the podiums, ladies and gentlemen, the horns they dot sound and the complete horn bearers sound so good. Just listen to them as they sound the horns. We like to hear that. 
Pekko seriously contemplates suicide, Pekko don't. Kyoko runs away with a ladder and some rope. Chie in <laughs> watches with envy as Taru and Kyukiko kiss before leaving the cornucopia. All right, RNG. <laughs> that only could have been better if Risei was there instead. Monokuma takes a handful of throwing knives. Saika windmills her arms and charges into the arena with her eyes closed. What results in a path of destruction in its wake? Gonta and Tenko are obliterated. All right, Saika with her windmill arms. That is dangerous. Can't have her finish first or second. Teddy tries to explain to Monokuma that there's been a mistake and that he isn't supposed to be here. I I can imagine that conversation in my head. Usami runs away with a ladder and some rope. Mondo shoots an arrow at Katoko but misses and kills Yosuke. Rest in peace, first persona character down. Maki grabs a chainsaw. Akane grabs a backpack, not realizing it's empty. Sakura runs away from the cornucopia. Crazy Yoko runs away from the cornucopia as well. Nanako enters the arena but changes her mind and she leaves immediately. You know, I'm gonna say that's probably the best scenario for this. Yeah, I'm okay with that. She's, Nanako, I'm gonna have to eliminate you. But you're safe, so you know what? I'm okay with that. It's just fine by me. Kanji and Reisei fall in love at first sight despite the circumstances. Shuichi ignores the games and goes looking for food. Jiro finds a teleporter and teleports him to... The Garrick Mach Monastery. He steals an ancient relic and returns to the game. Y'all, this is the Ascended Champion in the Year of the Ascension. Y'all in trouble. Munakata takes a loaded shotgun from the supplies and fires it at Naoto. Naoto can see the pellets approaching in slow motion and dodges all of them. Teru Teru uh, seriously contemplates suicide, and Kazuichi accidentally steps on a landmine. Did Pekka live? Because two of my picks are gone already. She is- <laughs> two of my picks are gone, and Pekka's like, maybe I should kill myself. AB picked me. <sighs> you remember when I was- I, when I was bragging in the comments one day since last Jinx? I'm gonna have to go and edit that comment. <laughs> we'll proceed to day one. Now tell. And Murakata go ice fishing together. Yukiko and Usami let Chihiro join and sing All I Want for Christmas together. That's cute. It's not Christmas time anymore, but I'm gonna let it slide. Mondo's unknown sponsor is Raid Shadow Legends. Crazy Hyoko is trying to overthrow AV. Crazy Hyoko fail uh, fails miserably, but survives thanks to Kyoko. Interesting. Sakura begins plotting tirelessly to steal Christmas. She's plotting early, that's how dedicated she is, branding it How Sakura Stole Christmas. It started when an alien device did what it did. It stuck itself upon her wrist with secrets that it hid. Now she's got superpowers, she's no ordinary kid. She's Risei 10. I buy that. <laughs> I'd watch that wholeheartedly. Akane sleeps the entire day away from everyone else. Overcome with madness, Monokuma chains Shuichi to a tree and makes him watch as he drowns Sayaka Monokuma. Oh my gosh, that is terrifyingly glorious! <sighs> mm, New Year, save me. <laughs> Kotoko and Teru, Teru are made into grotesque human dioramas by Kanji. The boy was always good at making cute things, they're probably adorable, I guess. Pekko stalks Teddy, Taru and Maki have a picnic on a cliff, nothing goes wrong surprisingly, and Chie makes a snow angel on the ground. We lost quite a few, we lost eight. Mm. Okay. We lost eight folk. Can we get a Claire de Lune 4? Gonta, Tenko, Yosuke, Nanako, Kazuichi, Sayaka, Kotoko, Teru Teru. As we see everybody's statuses, <clears throat> in District District 2, y'all, shame, shame on you guys. District 1 still has Taru Pekko completely in with Munakata. District 3 is also completely in, so is District 4. District 5 only has Risei. District 6 completely in. District 7 only has Crazy Yoko. District 8 has Kanji and Mondo. District 9 is also completely in. That is the rundown thus far. We only lost 8. We have 27 total. 8 gone. We are at your final 19. Are you ready to proceed? I think we have to. 
Are you ready? For no, for more good times with Persona cast, we, how many, did we only lose two Persona characters? We did. Nanako left, which is brilliant. Didn't perish, she just left, she's not deceased, she's A-OK. -okay. Yosuke just dipped, he's, no, he didn't dip, he, he perished, he, he died. We'll proceed <laughs> to night one. Usami's unknown sponsor is Maki. Kubo Kunk, Sakura, Chihiro, and Munakata discuss the games and what, have, what might happen in the morning. Mondo isn't afraid of no ghost. Taru, Akane, and Kanji play a game of Monopoly. Taru loses all of his property and flips the board over. Your great, 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 great grandmother, the legendary avatar, Kiyoshi, would be very disappointed. Yukiko, Teddy, Pekko, and Kyoko make shadow puppets over the campfire. Everyone is so much better at it than Kyoko that she starts to get jealous. Naoto, feeling especially kind tonight, gives Chie a muffin. Good on you, Naoto. Monokuma threatens Shuichi in fluent Japanese. <laughs> I can hear that in Monokuma's voice. Risei poisons Crazy Oko's drink but mistakes it for her own, and she dies instead. Rest in peace to Risei. We didn't lose many that day. In fact, we only lost Risei, so we'll proceed to day two. Naoto wants a way out of the arena for Christmas. Christmas is over, Naoto. A shame. <laughs> Yukiko, Crazy Yoko, Maki, Mondo, and Akane hunt for other tributes. Kyoko wants to be a stepping stone for everyone else. Teddy sits down next to Yoko, uh, Kyoko and has a talk with her. <laughs> we can only imagine how well that goes. Chie confides in Taru. Taru takes notes so we can exploit her later. Monokuma starts a cult. Shuichi, Chihiro, Kanji, and Pekko happily join Munakana steps on a Lego brick wall barefoot, but shrugs off the pain because he is incredibly durable. Usami thinks about home, and Sakura wakes up from a long nap. We only lost one. Yeah, that's what I thought. It was only Risei, so it was a real sad day. Can we give a big time Claire de Lune 4? Risei. Risei, I've pronounced your name Rise so many times before I heard it pronounced by someone in the game. This one's for you. <laughs> we'll see everybody's statuses. We don't really need you. But that's the end of District 5, actually. So, two districts are completely out. One, two, three, four, are com five are completely in. And then we have a couple stragglers like Crazy Yoko, Kanji, Mondo, and yeah, just just those three. That's nuts. We still have 17 more. Seven more into your saving grace picks. But for right now, I believe it's time to proceed. It's actually eight more? Do we have 17 or 18? We lost eight the first day, we lost nine. Uh, we have 27 total. So yeah, we're at 18 left. Eight more until your saving grace picks. Let's proceed with the action. It's night two. As the champ, Chihiro finds an Etch-a-Sketch and somehow ends up breaking it out of frustration, Naoto sings Sakura Lullaby. That's out of character, but you know what? I appreciate that. Akane and Murakata settle their dispute over an intense game of rock, paper, scissors. Who wins, who loses? I don't know, but Monokuma drowns in a frozen lake in the meantime. Kanji and Taru sleep in shifts. The boys sleeping, camping out. Shuichi. Usami, Crazy Oko, and Maki form a suicide pack, killing themselves. Four gone, oh my gosh. But Pekko's still in. That's one of my picks. Pekko says a swear word. <laughs> Chie covers Mondo's ears. <laughs> Kyoko hops onto an inflatable cauldron to make jokes about how she's emergency food. She might have a problem. Kyoko, you uh, you doing a okay. Okay, Yukiko wonders why Teddy is being an edgelord around the holiday season. I've not gotten to the holiday season in the game, so I don't know. He might be an edgelord. That might be canon for all I know. We'll proceed to day three. Mondo and Murakata play tricks on Pekka while Sh Kyoko steals from her room. Jeez. Kanji wants to be a stepping stone <laughs> for everyone else. Naoto sits down next to Kanji and has a talk with him. Sakura searches for a water source. Taru. Chie. Chihiro and Akane swim in a magical lake hidden deep beneath the arena whose mystical waters turn them into chibi, uh, chibi forms of themselves. They proceed to kill Teddy with cuteness. You know what? If there were ever a way that Teddy wanted to go out, it's getting killed by cuteness. He's probably just fine with this as Yukiko tries to spearfish with the trident. We lost. Six. This means we're at your final 12. Which means there's still two more until you're saving grace picks. Will you need them? You might. Especially after this Claire de Lune. Four. Monokuma, Shuichi, Usami, Crazy Hiyoko, Maki, Teddy. 
let's take a peek at everybody's statuses real quick. In District 1, they're still going. A lot of... Well, District 9 is completely out. That's too bad for them. District 1 and 3, completely in. Good on them. District 4 just lost Maki. Yukiko and Kyoko remain. District 6 just lost Shuichi. Naoto and Chihiro remain. And Kanji and Mondo carry on for Gonta still. <clears throat> that leaves us with 3, 6, 8, 10, 12. Quick math is always right, except when it's not. We need two more into your saving grace picks. And you know, the only way to get there is to proceed. Are you ready? Can we go on? Can we see which two will make it to the top spot? We have four, five Persona characters still in. That's interesting. Hopefully I didn't jinx them. But we also have to take into account that Sakura and Kyoko and Chihiro and Mondo? No, not Mondo. So just these three, I believe, are already in the or the premiere, so it's still it's a game between the other nine. That's interestingly enough, we have to proceed. Tonight three, Kyoko finds an etch a sketch and shows Chihiro the portrait that she made for Sakura? Kyoko was cheating on Chihiro with Sakura all along. Well, I mean it's Sakura. I wouldn't turn down Sakura either. Sakura's best girl. Don't add me, Sakura's best girl. Chie finds a special charm that allows her to transform into a magical girl. Now it's time to fight evildoers, heart star, till day thing. Akane does a quick prayer to her tool before going to sleep. Yukiko challenges Peko and Munakata to an anything goes pancake eating competition. Peko, my pick, eats the most pancakes and is dubbed the world champion. Naoto says a swear word. Taru covers Kanji's ears. <laughs> I don't think you need to worry about Kanji. Mondo sets up an outdoor generator, space, uh, space heater, and floodlights. We didn't lose anyone that day as we proceed. We're about to lose people. A lot of people. At the feast, as the cornucopia is replenished with food, weapons, memoirs from the tributes, families. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, I, I read the first event first, and now I'm just, it's in my mind that it's, this is happening. Mondo sets off an explosive, killing Kanji, Naoto, and Chihiro. You hate to see it. That's your district partner, Mondo. And two other people. Kyoko and Chie indulge on Christmas cookies. In the middle of eating, Kyoko kills Chie. Oh my gosh! Peko and Munakata track down and kill Akane. Oh my gosh, Sakura decides not to attend the feast. And Taru strangles Yukiko with a rope. Oh my gosh! Well, it'll, it'll definitely be time for your saving grace picks. Right now, I'm worried about... What, one, two, three, four, five, six left? Oh, let's keep going. It's day four. <clears throat> Peko, Kyoko, Taru, Sakura, and Mondo hunt for other tributes. Munakata bribes Avi with pancakes to sing All I Want for Christmas is You. Uh, well, you know... Holidays are over. Sorry, bud. You're gonna have to bring more pancakes than that. To have, to have me sing post-Christmas. You missed your opportunity. This event was in there. We'll proceed. We lost six. Of the remaining 12, which means we're down to your final six. Which means we won't avoid Samurai Woman. And we cannot avoid this Claire de Lune 4. Kanji. Naoto. Chihiro. Chie. Akane. Yukiko. Which means, as we see everybody's statuses, District 1, my gosh, y'all are all still in. <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, it's your final six. How are your picks doing? Are any of your t picks for first, second, and third still in? I got one. Two of mine, out real quick. But one of them's still in there. We like to see that. We like to see that hope. But, you know what? Some of your picks may all be gone. Because that last round, devastating. <laughs> devastating especially for the persona gang but you know what that's fine you can still make new picks even in this final six because it is time for your saving grace picks your final six is here we have taru kiyoshi the great 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 grandson of the legendary avatar kiyoshi peko and Murakata both remain as well, which is nuts. Sakura, Kyoko, and Mondo. 
And here is the kicker, the top two, who are not already in the finale. I'm sorry, the premiere, still got finale on the brain, will make it to the season 7 premiere. Sakura, she in there. Kyoko, she in there. So it's a battle between which two do the best, between Mondo and District 1, <laughs> Taru, Peko, and Munakata. So, pick first, second, and third. Go on, pick them. Pick them real well. I know, I know you gotta do it. How do you do that? Go into comments. Edit your comment. Like your comment. Comment on a comment. Comment on your comment. Make a new comment. Comment on my comment. Do whatever you have to do to make your saving grace picks known. I will make mine now, but as you're doing that, make sure to like and subscribe, so we're closing in on 4,000, and the way that we go sometimes, the way that it just randomly jumps sometimes, who knows what we're at right now. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> but we're creeping. I'm gonna pick first, second, and third, and I'm gonna pick it like this, and it's gonna be easy. Peko for first, because she carried on through for me. Taru Kiyoshi for second, because I want some Persona representation. And give me Munakata for third. I think they're gonna- I think that their district is going to carry on. I think that they're just gonna be the strong district. I- I think that that's what- I think that's what it's gonna be. I think they're gonna make some magic happen today. That's my top three. That's who I've got for first, second, and third. Who do you guys have? I don't know. I, you made your saving grace picks known. I hope you made them good. But I don't know who's gonna win. I never do. But what I do know is that Taru, Peko, Munakata, Sakura, Kyoko, and Mondo have all stopped here in this arena. We checked their pulses, got the stethoscope out, put it on the, the cold thing on the chest, and they were like, oh, this is, what is this? How many beats per, per second, beats per minute? Uh-huh, okay, one, two, three. Oh, that's the same rate as that of a samurai woman. Are you ready? It's your top six. Who's gonna come out on top? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's proceed. To night four. Mondo goes to the Love Hotel with Munakata, Sakura, Kyoko, Taru, and Peko. Mondo doesn't survive, but he sure dies happy. And thus, it is a battle for the top two spots between District 1. Munakata, Peko, or Mondo. The next one of those three to die. Poor Mondo again. First of all, he's come close twice in preseason. It doesn't look like he's gonna come through. Um, the first one of those three to die perishes, unfortunately. And the other two will move on to the season seven premiere. Who will those be? I don't know, but let's find out. Let's proceed to see. It's day five. Munakata steps on another Lego brick. This is unheard of. Barefoot. Shrugs off the pain. Sakura, Taru, and Peko receives uh, report cards evaluating their performance this game. Sakura gets an A, Taru gets a C, and Peko gets a big fat F. Kyoko accidentally trips on a com uh, comically placed banana peel and falls on her bottom. We only lost the one. Good thing I didn't call that too early. <laughs> Knowing this simulator, we were like, oh, we just lost one? How about an arena event? Knowing this simulator recently, it would be like, we only lost one. How about a sail at AV's Wears and Despairs? <laughs> We lost one. That's the end of Samurai Woman, but at least we got to hear it. It is instead a terrible turnabout for. Mondo. Where's your final five? It's Persona 4. Goldens. Taru Kiyoshi with three KOs. And his partners, his district buddies, Peko and Murakata, both still here. Knowing the two of them will make it in seems like a win for that district. I didn't expect them to work together like this. Sakura's still here and Kyoko's still here. They want wins for themselves, just to be completely honest. And so, it's our final five. How are your saving grace picks doing? At most, you could have only lost one of them. <laughs> so we're gonna go on. But Samurai Woman's over. At this point, you just know that Taru Kiyoshi, Peko, Munakata, Sakura, and Kyoko are all caught in what we like to call a crisis of fate. Who will ascend to the top spot in this year of the ascent? Let's find out. Let's proceed to 
Night 5. Sakura tries to treat her infection, Murakata passes out from exhaustion. Taru is drinking hot chocolate, it's so good, Taru doesn't stop until he dies from a sugar overdose, which means, ugh. It is a shame, Taru. You were so close to getting some, for some, uh, some Persona 4 representation into the premiere. That is a shame. We'll see if we can stick some Persona 4 in the tag DMs. I don't know yet. <laughs> we'll see how far I get in the game before then. Oh man, Kyoko grabs a baseball bat and bashes Peko to death with it. Oh, okay, maybe I jinx their district. It might come down to Sakura and Kyoko because we're in our final two now. We gotta go to the next day. Peko, Murakata, congratulations, you guys will make it, even though Peko perished. We'll go on to day six. Sakura receives a gift from Santa. It is a sword. That's dangerous. Murakata makes a Danganronpa rewrite where Kyoko is the protagonist. We lost two? Two. Two people from District 1. It has been zero days since last Jinx. Unfortunately, they have perished. And it is truly a terrible turnabout for. Taru. Pekka. And as we see everybody's statuses, I could take out this this uh this notepad right here. Hopefully that's not too dreadful on the microphone. And I can add on. Your girl Pekko. And your boy Munakata. And Munakata needs some love. So maybe he'll get some today, actually. <clears throat> we got Munakata, we got Sakura, and we got Kyoko. And it's your final three. They're still caught in a crisis of fate. But you know, with this simulator and the final three, it could all end in a moment's notice. So we might be changing this music as I click on the next round. As we proceed, will we have to? Let's find out. Let's go on to... Is this it? It is it! Oh! It is night six. Kyoko goes to kill Munakata. However, due to the Christmas spirit within, Kyoko also kills Sakura to go Munakata company. That's it. It is the Christmas spirit that lingers on just past the holiday season, which means it is over for Munakata. It is over for Sakura, I believe. As we proceed, we can change the music because the result holds true. Your winner. Representing District 4. After not the best of Season 6's, comes out with a win in the preseason of season seven. Congratulations. Your winner, Kyoko. Well, she got one. She got another one. Good on her. I was still rooting for my boy Taru, Kiyoshi, and Peko, but you know what? We can't be mad at Kyoko and we can't. We'll proceed to <clears throat> the placements. Taru, you were so close in your first game. You got to the top five. I'm so proud of your boy. You didn't bring dishonor to the Kiyoshi name. Avatar Kiyoshi would be proud of you. Maybe. <laughs> she's tough. <laughs> she might be. She might. She'll, she, she's proud of you, I promise. Maybe. I hope. <laughs> Kyoko with five KOs, which is nuts also. Especially in a game that's only had 27, correct? Correct. Sakura in second with one. Munakata with two and third. Pekko with 2 and 4, Taru Kiyoshi in 5th with 3, Mondo also had 4 which is pretty impressive in 6th place, Yukiko in 7th place, not a single kill to her name but she was in lucky 7, Akane in 8th with 1, Chie in ninth with 1, and Chihiro, your champ, rounding off the top 10 and there's everyone else as we scroll down, a lot of Persona characters just missed the top 10 too, Naoto, Kanji, and Teddy, Maki, Crazy Hiyoko, Usami, Shuichi, I don't know why I'm going through the whole list, but we're, we're already we're already most of the way through. Monokuma, then Rise, Teru Teru, Katoko, Freaking Saika, Kazuichi, Nanako was just like, I'm out, she bailed, and I appreciate that. Good job. 
Yosuke, Tenko, and Gonta rounding off at the end. That is how things are done. Congratulations to Kyoko. She earned one, she got one, she got hers. And especially, this is I feel like this is more kills than she got all of last season. <laughs> we'll proceed to the summary. It started off with Saika getting rid of Gonta and Tenko. And we all thought that she was going to have a whirlwind of a game when she windmilled in here, but Monokuma got rid of her quick. It all ended with Kyoko embracing the Christmas spirit and taking out Sakura and Munokata. Congratulations, Kyoko, from District 4. And in District 4 with her, we had Maki and Yukiko, so good on them too. District 3 was in second with Sakura, uh, Akane, and Chie, and District... One, of course, was in third with Pekko, with Munakata, and with your boy, Taru Kiyoshi. The great, 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 great grandson of the legendary Avatar Kiyoshi. Can't be mad at that. You love to see it. I feel like District 1 technically is the best district just on averages, because let me tell you, <laughs> third, fourth, and fifth, they did real, they did real well. Oh man, we'll go back to the reaping. This is a fun one. I'm glad to- it's nice to have at least the person I did just cut, um, these images for them. But good on them. I'm glad they're all here. And they are eligible to be in tag teams. I- I'm fine putting all of them in tag teams. For now. <laughs> I'm not done the game, but I'm- I'm confident that none of them are up to- well, not all of them. I'm- I'm still suspect of you <laughs> Just, just, I, I don't know. You know, I, I don't, I'm not gonna preach about the game. The game's great. I love it so far. But I still don't know who the killer is. <laughs> That's all she wrote. Congratulations, Kyoko. You earned this one. Congratulations to everyone who was here. Congratulations to the Persona characters. They, on a whole, did pretty well. All finished around, at least most of them in the top half. So good on them. I'll read off the premiere list actually for you just one more time before we get out here. We have Chihiro, we have Mai, we have Gonta, we have Kokichi, we have Monokuma, Kizakura, Kyoko, Celeste, Kaye Dei, Junko, Yuta, Sakura, Ibuki, Taka, Komaru, Ryoma, Peko, and Munakata, and we still have one, two, three, four, five, six spots to fill, two tomorrow, four next week, and then season seven begins. Are you ready? If not, you better get ready. Stay classy. Toodaloo. Like crew. Thanks for watching. And very much thank you for liking and subscribing because a lot of you have done that recently and that's nuts to me. <laughs> every time, every time it's just like a, a random burst of subscribers. Always nuts to me. But thank you and I appreciate it. Toodaloo. Flight crew. Year of the Ascent. Stay classy. Thanks for watching. <laughs>